Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Red Rock 4x4 Dead Pedal Assembly in matte black, fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers. So if you're looking for some small interior mods that are going to be affordable and add some comfort and functionality to the interior of your Wrangler, this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So this Dead Pedal Assembly is going to mount right in the driver's side footwell and is going to add some comfort and a place to rest your foot when you're not using it, whether your Jeep has a clutch or not. Um, now this is made of a durable steel plate material and what I really like about this is that it's going to come in multiple pieces so you're able to adjust this to your fit and however you want to rest your foot inside your JL. Not to mention it's going to have some cutouts on the front adding a sporty look to your interior and it's going to have a nice textured black powder coat finish on top not only to add some ruggedness to your interior but also to protect that steel underneath from any rust or corrosion so you can ensure that this dead pedal assembly is going to hold up in the long run. Now this is going to be very affordable like I mentioned before at roughly $35 and I really don't think you can beat it for the comfort and really the quality that you're getting out of this product. Now in comparison to some other choices on the page there are going to be other footrests available however they may mount up in different locations and they may not be as large as this one. Now some may mount up to the hinges when you have your doors off or some may mount up a little bit higher however this is going to mount right in the back and rest on the floor um, and it's going to have some pretty big surface area to rest your foot. Now I personally think for $35 adding some comfort as well as functionality and some interior styling that is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, incredibly easy to install. You're going to need some very basic hand tools to get the job done and it's going to take you no longer than 30 minutes to do it. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, the provided Allen key, a 13 millimeter deep socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, and a 3 8 inch drive ratchet. So before we head over to the Jeep, we do have to put our dead pedal assembly together. Obviously this big piece is where you are going to rest your foot. That's going to connect to our connecting bracket and then this piece right here is going to be the bracket that attaches it to our Wrangler. So first we're going to take our connecting piece, put our dead pedal to the side, and there's going to be multiple mounting locations as well as adjustable mounting locations on the connecting bracket. Now you can put these wherever you'd like and you can also adjust these after the fact. I'm just going to put it right in the middle and we can take our provided hardware and secure this down. So what we're going to do is snug these up. We're not going to completely tighten them down because this is adjustable and we want to make sure that it has the best fit when it is inside our Wrangler. So I'm going to take the provided Allen key as well as a 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to tighten that up. So now we can take our dead pedal assembly and attach that to that connecting bracket. And again, we will be able to adjust these. So this is going to go around the connecting bracket and there's actually gonna be threads on these two mounts here. So I'm gonna take that provided hardware, thread that in to the mount through the dead pedal assembly. Take a provided Allen key and thread that in. Now again, we will be able to adjust this once we get it on the Jeep. So we wanna make sure that it's snug and not completely tight. Now we can head over to the Jeep and attach our dead pedal assembly. So now that we're inside the Jeep in the driver's side footwell area, we can locate the stud with the 13 millimeter nut on it that we're gonna have to remove. Now this is gonna be just left of the brake pedal and it should be the color of your Wrangler. Now I'm gonna take a 13 millimeter deep socket 
my impact wrench and I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Then we can take our dead pedal assembly and attach that there. Thread on that nut and make sure that this is sitting where we want it. Now I'm actually, before we tighten down that nut, I'm going to kind of tighten up this stud here or this bolt here on the side of our dead pedal assembly. I'm gonna hold it up where I want it and then take the provided Allen key and tighten it up on the side. Now while we're here, I'm just gonna move it over and tighten up the other side as well. So it should be solid in place. If you haven't already, what you can do is tighten down these back two bolts. And then what we can do is tighten up that 13 millimeter nut. You have to go back and tighten those up. You can take your 10 millimeter wrench and your provided Allen key and snug those up. So after both of your brackets are tight, what we can do is tighten up that 13 millimeter nut. Now I'm going to take a hand ratchet at this point since the dead pedal is in the way for my impact wrench and that same 13 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna tighten that up. All right, once it's tightened up into place, then you're all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe and for more videos and products just like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.